Kung Yurok, and thank you for joining me today for the Trend Profiteer video training series. I'm really excited to be here and share this information with you. Uh, it's been years in development. Today we're going to cover power trends, tomorrow power swings, the following day profiteering, and then we're going to have a workshop uh, putting it all together and building a version of the system so you can take home with you. I'm even going to give you a template of the system with a customized indicator, all the rules, step-by-step -step rules of how to trade the system. Uh, so if you're new to trading, then congratulations, you've just stumbled across a system that actually works and is going to fast track you into becoming a profitable trader. If you have already been trading for a while, or even if you're an experienced trader, then I'm confident you're going to be pleasantly surprised with what you see. Uh, Trend Profiteer is an extremely sophisticated system, and I'm going to go over that in a second. At uh, first, I just wanted to address one little thing. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of hype unfortunately, in this market. And uh, it's had the adverse effect of uh, a lot of people being uh, disappointed and coming out with a nobody makes money from trading uh, mindset. Well, there is a lot of crap out there, that is for sure. Um, but there's three big ways to make money and create wealth in this world uh, in 2017 and beyond or you know even over the last decades uh, the first is to invent something in, in the past it used to be little gadgets something that millions of people would use and then you'd lift off the royalty of it in the current economy we've got you know youngsters in their 20s developing apps like snapchat just uh, went into uh, its ipo uh, recently and uh, you know, fund, well, gain $24 billion with uh, the co-founder giving himself an $800 million bonus just to take it to that level and, uh, you know, having a super model on his arm at 24. Um, and it's not even a business in the true sense of uh, making money. I mean, it doesn't make money, but anyway, invent something. The other way is to uh, develop and build a business. And it can be anything from uh, from uh, a juicing shop to lawn mowing to you name it. I mean, there are people out there that have developed millions or created millions from the simplest of businesses. So, uh, so number one, uh, how to create wealth in this world, invent something. Number two, uh, build a business. And number three, trade. Uh, and the reason that trading allows you to create wealth is that it's open-ended. You can generate a lot of wealth from trading, but you need to have the right. Exp you need to have experience. Okay, you can't just go in there like uh, like walking off the street into a casino. You need to have uh, the right resources, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in terms of the trend profiteer system. Um, and you need to have some capital, let's face it. If you're just starting out with $500, then you, you can't expect to, uh, to, to get rich overnight. Uh, certainly there are stories out there that have, uh, you know, that are legitimate of people making fabulous wealth from very small capital uh, starts, but it does help to have a little bit, little bit of capital as well. But there you go. There are the three ways to uh, to create wealth. So let's get straight into the charts. And uh, this is the trend profiteer system. It's a trend trading system. Uh, so it focuses on filtering out all the noise and focusing on the best possible trends. How does it do that? Well, I've combined a number of indicators, some of which have been used for decades. Uh, so they're very robust. They're battle tested. They're proven. And when you put these indicators together in the right combination with the right settings, you know, something amazing happens. Now, I'm not going to cherry pick trades today. I'm going to go through half a dozen charts. And, uh, you know, let's just take a look at what where the market is today. It's the 10th of March, 2017. And, uh, you know, I just want to uh, you know, show you the power of the system. So here we've got a nice little inception of a trend moving upward. Didn't go too far. Here we've got another one that went even further. But here we've got one that uh, went all the way down. Uh, and uh, let's have a look. If we got in here where the indicator told us to, to get in, 
that's just over 5,000 pips. Now, if you were trading $1 a pip, this trade would have netted you $5,000. And the beautiful thing about this is with this system, your stop loss would have been very small, just above the... Uh, the uh, intersection of these uh, two lines. So I'm just going to bring up some chart analysis on the chart. Now, this is the settings for the software. And, you know, you get people that say, well, well, trading software doesn't work. Well, I'm a believer. I've been trading, well, I've been programming since the 80s. Uh, I did a degree in business, majoring in IT, and I can tell you without a doubt that computers and software uh, is just a, a part of our lives. We depend on it for everything, so why wouldn't you depend on it for trading? Um, if you sleep at night, if you go to work or go out during the day, if you take breaks like dinner breaks, toilet breaks and whatever other type of breaks, then software is a really good thing to have because there are so many times without software uh, of traders walking away from their desk and uh, all hell breaks loose. That's why you need software, not just for highlighting where potential opportunities are that you can exploit, but being able to manage the trade while you're away. Okay, so we'll go into that a little bit later uh, in the profiteering video. But for now, I want to, you know, bring up the, the, the fact here that we've got the high time frames displayed on the current chart. We've got the overall direction is down currently. Now, this is dynamic. It changes by the pip uh, or by the tick. We've got the four hour trend and swing down. We've got the daily trend and swing down. We've got the weekly trend showing up and the weekly swing showing down. But overall, five out of those six are pointing down. So, you know, it makes it a lot more, uh, well, it gives you a lot of confidence when you're entering into a trade without having to do a ton of manual research to be able to validate whether that trade is going to actually go well for you or not. Uh, so this is gold. Let's just move on to the euro pound. Here we've got the overall direction is up. And you know this is really important because you know some people say, well, trend trading doesn't work. Well, of course it works. But there's a saying that a lot of people know, the trend is your friend. But the complete saying or a different version of that saying is the trend is your friend until the end when it bends. So what, 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 what are we getting at is that as long as the trend is in play, that's a good time to get into a trade. And you can get into a trade not just at the inception of the trend, which is what we're focusing on today, but also throughout that trade. Um, throughout that trend and when it bends then you know when the, when the music stops the party's over that's all what it's about you need to get in before the train leaves and you need to get out before the party ends um, so here on the euro pound we can see a nice little move down uh, now here we can see the inception of a new upward trend that rocketed up this is on the euro pound about 213 pips so again, if you were trading a dollar a pip, then there's 213 bucks for you. So this trade really never went uh, against us. And I'll just give you a quick rundown. We, we've got moving averages here. We've got a customized indicator, the trend follow-up. Uh, so we've got it changing from red to green to indicate when the trend is bending or ending and pending. We've got the RSI that's been around for decades, giving us an idea if it's above the 50 line, then uh, it gives us an indication that price is supported. We've got the MACD um, that uh, it also has been around for decades. This is a customized version of the normal MACDs that you get uh, that really makes trading a lot easier. And then we've got the stochastic as well. So again, I'm not gonna go into real depth in this, but nothing's been hidden here. Now, I know there's systems out there that will try to hide these indicators into histograms that are either on or off, one color or another. And binary systems like that just don't work. They don't give traders enough idea of what actually is happening. Um, so moving on, we've got the pound Swiss. See a nice little move up here, and again, a nice big one. Right here, we see that it's overall downward trend. 
Okay, so the four hour trend and swing is down, the daily and the weekly. And again, you know, if you'd gotten at the inception of the trend, well, we're looking at around 250 pips. Okay, the Aussie, a nice little one here. This one didn't quite work out, but then it came out again. So, you know, here it's over and over again. Oh, you know, I, uh, I, well, people come to me for guidance and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, they'll say I'm, I'm losing trades. Well, number one, what system are you using? Number two, how are you getting into it? Uh, are, are, you, are you buying uh, at resistance levels? Are you selling at support levels? And, uh, you know, just because you lose on one trade doesn't mean that you shouldn't get back in again if the conditions are right. Okay, so what I mean is in this example, uh, sometimes you need a grind. So sometimes trades don't work out, you know, that fantastically as you intended in your mind. So uh, either a lock in profits and a, or, or break even here or a small loss uh, and uh, a nice big win here. And that's the other thing to remember as well is that you need to keep your risk small for um, the you know potential reward. Uh, there's some systems that uh, that will scalp the market and go for a few pips. Well, that's not what the trend profiteer system does. It is designed to minimize the risk, maximize the rewards, and be able to stay in the trend for as long as possible. But we'll come back to that in uh, in video three. So dollar Swiss here, we've got an interesting situation here. And remember, I said before. The trend is your friend until the end when it bends. Well, here is a possibility of when that trend is ending and bending. Uh, notice here on the direction, you've got a bi-directional arrow. Not up, not down, bi-directional, okay? Um, we've got the four-hour trend, which we are on the four-hour trend uh, on, on the four-hour charts right now, looking at the possibility of this crossover occurring here. We've got the trend follower changing from green to red. We've got the RSI already under the 50, which indicates that price is falling into under pressure. Same with the MACD, it's under that horizontal line. And we've got a crossover occurring on the stochastic. Now, all of those indicators put together at the close of this candle, if it lines up, you know, if, if, if it's, it, the what, what, first thing that will happen is this will change to red. That'll be one, two, three, four red. Okay, so will it go forever? Well, there's a good potential reward here for a very small risk, but I don't know. It may be a false uh, move. It may be a bear trap. What's a bear trap? A bear trap is when the uh, market has been, uh, well, is moving in a downward fashion usually in a fast manner with momentum. A lot of people say, whoa, it's going down. They jump in being bears. They're shorting the trade. They're selling it, in other words. And uh, boom, it reverses on them. And there's a number of reasons for that, and I'll go over them uh, throughout this uh, throughout this training with you. But they all get clobbered in a bear trap, okay? Um, it was a false move to the downside, and then it continues up its merry way upward. Um, but, you know, it's really important to be able to take the trades when they present themselves and be able to not go on gut instinct, but be able to go through a mechanical process, a step-by-step -step process to be able to, uh, you know, advise you of when good trade setups occur that provide excellent opportunities of reward compared to the risk that you're outlaying. Okay, so